Hello and welcome to Firefighting in Canada this week. It's Friday, January 15, 2016. Today's edition is brought to you by VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. I'm Tamara Teek and here are the top stories. The Quebec City Fire Department is defending its firefighters after facing criticisms of their rescue efforts. A Winnipeg firefighter has been accused of theft during a call. And members of a New Brunswick fire station are recouping after a blaze damaged their equipment and haul. And now to our top story. A family that jumped from a four-story window to escape a fire last week is considering legal action against the Quebec City Fire Department, according to reports. Witnesses say that firefighters were slow to respond and that a ladder malfunctioned. A department spokesperson told CBC News that firefighters were on scene within two minutes of the call and made their way inside the building, but the family jumped before they could help. The spokesperson confirmed that there were mechanical issues with a truck on scene and it is being investigated. A veteran Winnipeg firefighter has been suspended without pay after being accused of stealing jewelry from a home while responding to a 911 call. According to the Winnipeg Free Press, the 46-year-old firefighter was arrested before Christmas and released on the condition that he appear in court on a theft charge. An initial court date has been set for February 9. In a statement to media, Winnipeg Firefighters Union President Alex Forrest said the charges go against everything firefighters and paramedics stand for. A fire that started in a rescue truck has caused significant damage to the Havelock Fire Department Hall in New Brunswick. The hall was just two years old. Chief Arlen Dunfield said members have moved back into their old hall while cleanup and insurance matters are sorted. We have got uh, borrowed trucks and borrowed uh, uh, turnout gear from all the local and neighboring fire departments from around the province. Everybody's offered us anything and everything, uh, we, uh, we're back in that we can, uh, we can go to calls again and, and be adequate with it. A fire station in Rose Valley, Saskatchewan was also damaged by fire last month. That's our show for now from Annex Business Media's Niche TV Newsroom. Thank you to our sponsor, VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. You can find more news about Canadian firefighting online at firefightingincanada.com or subscribe to the magazine and have a copy delivered to you. On behalf of all of us here at Niche TV, thanks for watching.